Hello forums, I'm Simple5 from Retribution of O'Leary, and I'm here to respond to the thread FOR MILITARY PERSONNEL, all caps, from Oregana, from Dragon Mall. Basically she's saying, you know, Blizzard should implement a few special things for people that are in the military. Um, one of the things is implement an open beta of Miss Pandaria for military personnel. <clears throat> and then she says, since we don't have a lot of time on our hands to be playing WoW, Buy monthly or cheaper payment, seen as we've already signed a check to the U.S. for our lives. Um, I'm just going to start off saying, you know, I have respect for anyone that joins the military. It's a very, very brave thing for you to do, and I respect you for that. But having a separate open beta for Miss Pandaria for military personnel specifically, I don't think would happen. Because, you know, we've already have enough people in a beta and having a Miss Pandaria beta just for, you know, a very small minority of people. And, you know, there are a lot of people that play WoW that are also in the military, but not all of them are overseas, you see. Some of them, you know, they stay in the United States. So it'd be a very small minority of people that would get into that beta, and it wouldn't be worth all the maintenance and the cost to keep that server up. And then, uh, as for paying cheaper, I think that'd be a little too difficult to, uh, you know, to handle, as in... Who do we know is in the military and how do we know? I think that'd be a little too complicated. Plus, you know, $15 a month isn't too expensive. And you get, I, I'm pretty sure you get pretty good pay in the military. I've never been in the military, I wouldn't know that. But um, I don't think any of that, any of those two things will happen. But I certainly do respect you for being in the military and I think for your service. This has been simplified.